when it comes to the treatment of asthma or any such airway disease like COPD, inhalers play the important role. There is a doubt among common people that starting inhaler might be an indication that inhaler needs to be taken for throughout the life or sometimes they think it has blind by superstition that inhaler is not good for health and it will cause so many side effects. The best treatment for asthma or any airway disease including COPD is proper inhaler technique. The inhaler it will contain different medications. Most common medications that we use in the treatment of asthma are inhaled corticosteroids, short acting beta agonists, long acting beta agonists, short acting muscarinic agents, long acting muscarinic agents. When a patient who is already on inhalers, if he develops any exacerbation or flare-up of symptoms, then they can be started on oral steroids along with other bronchodilators such as esobrophilin, doxyphilin, theophilin. Montelukast, a molecule, has a property of decreasing the allergic tendency of the airways. So, it is commonly employed to treat acute asthmatic attacks. The most important of a asthma treatment is correct inhaler technique. Inhalers are again multiple types, it depends on whatever it is. Basically, they may be multi-dose inhaler or gaseous type of inhalers. The second one is dry powder inhalers or capsule form of inhalers. The rest of the inhalers fall into these two categories. Multiple dose inhalers are MBIs. They are most commonly employed for people who can hold to a proper technique along with breath holding. So, this is most suitable for ages greater than 12 years up to 50 years. Less than 12 years and greater than 50 years, usually it will be difficult to hold breath. So, in such a cases, either dry powder inhaler in form of rotacaps or nebulization in form of pure nebulizer machine can be of useful. Most of the cases have a doubt regarding whether nebulization is good or inhaler is good. If you ask any of the pulmonologists, they will be saying that they are both of equal efficacy. But when we compare, nebulization has a much more drug wastage than compared to properly used inhaler technique.